Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Sam from On Tabletop and I'm joined by Alan and Rob from PlayFusion. How are you guys doing? Good, thanks Sam. Yeah, now they're here to tell us about the latest expansion for what I think is the best new card game in recent years, uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions. I absolutely love this card game. So before we get into that, can you just tell us a bit about yourselves, uh, introduce yourselves a bit? Sure, I'm sure. Rob. Okay, uh, I'm Rob. I'm the content manager at PlayFusion, so I'm responsible for making sure every bit of uh, content we put out is spick and span. Uh, and uh, I I joined PlayFusion back in in November last year. Absolutely fell in love with Warhammer Champions. Uh, I'm a big Chaos player. I love me the big spells they've got. Uh, yeah. And so well. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm Alan. I'm a video producer. I've appeared on. I've chatted to you guys a few times before. Appeared in a few videos. Uh, I'm also one of. I'm also the narrative designer here on Warhammer Champions, so that means I've been putting together all the storylines, especially for this new set, we've uh, yeah, been doing a lot of work on it, so hopefully mm -hmm. everyone's going to enjoy it. Yeah, Excellent, yeah, I'm very excited for this one, because of course it's bringing in plenty of new stuff for Age of Sigma, so um, what what uh, Grand Alliance is your preferred preferred faction? Uh, I'm, I've got to say Destruction, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to playing with uh, some of the new guys we've got coming in now, um, and you know... I just, I just, I just love to really chuck as many units on the battlefield at a time as I can, and that's, you know, they're the, they're the boys for doing that. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, I, uh, as mentioned before, I like chaos. I don't mind doing a bit of damage to myself to, to do the big hits. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm a so. death, yeah. I'm a death player myself, so it's all about uh, that Brit playing with, playing with, or raising my, raising my units again. That's where I have my fun. Yeah. Well, there'll definitely be some good uh, stuff in savagery. For you for that one. Okay, now I believe. Oh, there will be. <laughs> I believe Savagery is the third booster set for Age of Sigma Champions. What is the story behind Savagery? What's been happening in the lore? Okay, so this, uh, yeah, so with this storyline, we're basing it within the realm of beasts, so uh, in the realm of Gur. Uh, Lariel the Ever Queen is come into the realm because she has found out that uh, Rotigus Rainfather and Haticulus Slimex from Nurgle have started to try and infest this realm. Um, she sort of sensed that they're overwhelming the forests there, and she and her Sormanek are coming in to try and fight back against the Nurgle and the Maggot King. Um, as long alongside that, we also have the Gloomspite Gits. They're going to be running a mock through the realm. Basically, the Bad Moon is flying overhead, all kinds of mad, mad stuff going on. So they've come here trying to impress the Bad Moon as they like to, to try and bring about the Everdank. But on the side of that, we also have Arkham the Black has been sent by, has been sent through to basically try and collect some Loomstone. If you know your uh, Age of Sigma lore, Loomstone has a lot of magical properties to it. One of the things being that it can drain magical energy from the realm where it is. And it tends to drive people a little bit insane, part of why the, why the, the Gits like it so much. So Arkan is leading a mass legion of death into the realm of beasts to try and collect this loonstone. The only problem is that the, uh, the, the Gits have all taken up residence on this giant piece of loonstone, so they're going to have to fight them to try and claim it. Fun. So it's all kicking off. It's kicking <laughs> off. Big bomb. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. I, I do have to admit that the Gloom Spike Gits are the one thing that tempt me away from death. I, uh, rap, well, that sounded oh, really, really grim. Oh, <laughs> they tempt me away from the Grand Alliance of Death. <laughs> uh, do, does the, the Loonstone, does that play a part in this new set at all? Uh, are, are there any cards that reflect its importance? Uh, it's, uh, so there are a few cards that talk about the Bad Moon. Not so much the Loonstone in itself. Uh, there are a few cards that talk about the moon itself there is uh there is a, is it the bad moon the bad moon may have be a card yeah so the bad moon itself is making an appearance in card form yeah. um the the loonstone element is actually more something that we're going to be tying into our organized play and just on the narrative side of things and it may take it may have more of an appearance within the digital events that will run on our mobile version of the game as well Perfect. and steam now and steam and soon switch <laughs> there you go okay so what what does savagery bring to the game? You, you you mentioned a lot of the different factions there. What are some of the the cards we can expect to see? Uh, some of the really big characters or really important new. Well, basically, what do you think is the, the are the coolest new additions from savagery? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we've got all of we've got all the named characters. Yeah, a lot yeah. of the guys we've just, we've just spoken about. We've obviously also got yeah. Scrag, the Loon King, yeah, for the Loon Spike gets. 
else would we got? We've got Arkham, Arkham, yeah, Arkham. Alario. So we've, got all, we've got all the characters that we've just mentioned, but there are some yeah. cool new, um, some other new stuff as well. Yeah, absolutely. There? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, talking about Alario, she's got her uh, right hand woman, Drycha Hammerdreth, who is one of my favorite characters, I think. It's basically, essentially, a wood mech. Yeah. Uh, it's just fantastic. And I think what we've done with uh, with the Sylvaneth and other and the other races that we brought in, and so we've got the, the Gloomspite Gits, uh, and we've got the Nurgles as well. We've got Magakin. The Magakin yeah. as well. We the, Each of those play styles are pretty unique. So with the Sylvaneth, with some of the cards we've already revealed, there's we've really lent into sort of their ability to just just charge in and, and recklessly try and fend and defend their land. So they've got really robust discard mechanics, which we think is going to really shake up the game and create some really pretty unique play styles. Uh, so, for example, Dredger Hammerdreth, as I just mentioned, uh, has like an ability to constantly discard cards to play cards. And so you're basically burning through your deck to try and do as much damage and, and, and create that win condition as quickly as possible. I think that sort of that sort of play style is going to be really exciting to play, both in the physical and the digital game. Yeah, we've got some cards that are doing things now that we haven't seen before. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I can't. The name escapes me right now, but I'm, I'm sure we can send you send you it so you can show it. But that allows you to actually once your once your champions have completed their yeah. when they've completed their blessing, they completed their quest, received their blessing. It actually allows you to restart yeah. their quest from the very beginning. Yes, oh. allowing you to those blessings things again so that's so, quite a cool new mechanic divine inspiration is the order card that lets you do that uh, it's uh you know it's one of those cards that if you can put it off it's gonna it's gonna pay off big for you so if you can get to your blessings hit them and then restart them that puts you in a position where you can really do some damage pretty quickly and of course the great thing with that is as well is that you because you already unlock the blessings once you have a better idea of absolutely you know, what blessings. absolutely of course uh, and so we've got a lot of cards like that we've got we've got cards there's some new, new neutral cards like battle tactics which just you can basically play without any, uh, you know, from any sort of position, from behind or from in front. It allows you to sort of change the game, shuffle your cards, re revamp your tactics, and sort of push forward for a win condition. Uh, and so we've got what we've tried to do with the savagery is we've tried to bring a lot of different play styles and sort of, uh, and also to reinforce the existing play style. So we're going to see a lot of existing decks, existing mets shaken up, as well as new tactics come out. And if you're a, if you're a a Nurgle fan as well, of course. Oh we've, got, we've got Nurglings coming in now, which everyone, everyone loves the oh, Nurglings. But oh, yeah. the cool thing about Good them is guys. The, uh, the thing up until now has been that you're only allowed three of any, any single card with yeah. your deck. With the Nurglings, you can actually take seven of those in, Yeah, really showing how they kind of fill the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. And they increase in strength depending on the number of Nurglings yeah, you have in play. So then there's also, is it is actually seven different designs of cards? Yes, the so the Festering Nurglings card. There are seven different designs of them, um, and so you can have seven of those cards, all different artwork, uh, in your deck. So you can basically just throw festering nurgling after festering nurgling, nurgling, yeah. just spreading the love it's of spreading the plague. Yeah, yeah, spreading the love of uh, of, of grandfather Nurgle. Yes, yeah. that that's absolutely fun. fun. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. I love the idea of throwing that many nurglings down onto the field. Yeah, yeah. we wanted to make sure. That they have different art because you don't you don't want seven seven of the same looking cards in your deck. So you know you can really and a lot of the cards really do show the like the mad side of Nurgle. Yeah. The you know the Nurglings are a massive part of the of the Maggot King. So it's good to actually be able to show that off. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I I'm very excited to see that. Yeah, are there any other mechanics that really characterise these new factions coming in? Like I have to come back to my favourites, the Gloom Spike Gids. What what do they have to play with? Yeah, I mean, there's what our uh, Loon Smasher Fanatic. Yes, the Loon Smasher Fanatic is uh, is a new card that we've got coming in the, in the set. Where essentially, if you play it right and you have a bit of luck, you will be able to basically pull off all of its corners uh, in in full rotation in one turn. So essentially, the uh, uh, this card will allow you to place it, and then you'll be able to discard a card from your opponent. Uh, if that card is a unit, it will rotate to the next corner. If you just discard Discard another card. If that card is still a unit, it will take to its last corner, it will do damage. So it'll allow you to just rapidly, one, discard your opponent's cards, and two, do damage pretty quickly. So, so we've got our existing mechanics that have existed through the first two sets, as you mentioned. But this one, we've really sort of leaned into the fact that you can do big damage really quickly if, if the conditions are right. And it's that crazed idea as well that the Fanatics, whenever you're playing the Age yeah. of Sigma um, physical game, have that unpredictable nature yeah. to them. Well, we wanted to sort of oh, yeah. bring that into this as well. Yeah. Mm. There's also the hallucinogenic 
the fungus brew, which lets you, when you play that, it basically allows you to uh, move an entire stat. So from now, obviously with uh, with destruction cards, you can stack up you can stack up units. Yeah. Um, of course, when you discard them, you discard all of those units. Well, this is going to allow you to move that entire stack back into your hand. That's so not back into your hand. Uh, not back into your deck. Straight into your hand. Mm -hmm. So you can instantly get a whole mob oh, yeah. of orcs or grots back in your hand. And don't forget, this is taking place in the land of Gur, mm -hmm. yeah. so you can use Gur Realm Magic. So we are yeah. adding a third uh, version of our Realm Magic, which will be uh, just sort of Gur Magic. So for those who don't know, Realm Magic is a uh, type of magic that you can use that essentially locks you to that realm. So you can either support the Realm of Fire, the Realm of Life, and now the Realm of Gur. Uh, so you can basically wield the power of, of the land of Gur itself uh, into your tactics. That, that sounds really cool. I, I, it does sound like you've got that savagery theme down with mm. these new mechanics. I, I have to ask that, how do you think current players will find this impacting the meta of their games? I think it's really going to play a lot with the way that people deal with discarding. Yeah, yeah, drawing yeah, yeah. And back from drawing back from your discard pile, that, that yeah. Kind of feel. It, it, becomes, it becomes sort of a really core part of some of the gameplay now, especially for, as I mentioned before, the Sylvaneth. So existing players will, you know, they'll be familiar with all of our mechanics like discard. You know, uh, a death can, you know, have spells that allow them to discard some of their cards to do damage to the enemy, to, do, to, dis, uh, to remove spells. But now with the Sylvaneth and with some of the death cards, you can actually use, discard it, use discarding it much, much more robustly. You could, it becomes a core part of your gameplay. You have cards that you want to discard because they do they have effects when they are discarded. You have cards that will do that will have effects when they're brought back from the discard yeah. pile. So we've really sort of leaned into the fact that this, this is a really reckless land. You if you it's do or die. There's a lot of risk for a lot of reward. And of course, it doesn't. You're not. You know, if you're playing usual Sylvaneth, it's always been. You know, you're not limited by you have to just play a Sylvaneth deck. It can. Nope. You know, it can be part storm cards, part of course, Sylvaneth. Of course. Yeah. Um, part Iron of Deepkin. You know, yeah. you're you're obviously limited to your to your grand alliance yeah. but you're not purely stuck playing just silver or just of stormcast so you know you can really merge all those together and hopefully build some cool tactics yeah absolutely and then they get squigs, and squigs everyone in there squigs. as well yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. squigs making an appearance yeah uh the squigs are definitely my favorite part of the the gloom spike gets i would collect that army just for the squigs that well, there you go you can have new tag squigs in there as well now so squigs are going to have a big part in this mm -hmm. excellent so, Savagery is launching April 5th, is that correct? Correct, yes. So, so, it's launching April 5th for the physical version. The digital version is launching on April 8th. Okay. Yeah, but if, I, if I'm not mistaken, this weekend, so today, you're running your first yeah. strike events. Uh, what is happening with... Indeed. Sorry? I'll just check my fake watch. There are <laughs> currently first strike events running right now. <laughs> Excellent. How, can you tell us a bit about those and how can people get involved? Sure. So if you head to the Warhammer Champions website and then you'll see there is a store locator on that website, you'll be able to find a store near you that will be running a first strike event. And a first strike event is our preview event where you'll be able to see all of these, uh, the savagery cards uh, in, a, in a tournament format. So not you won't only just get to look at them, you actually get to play them and take them home with you. So you'll be able to go to your local store, uh, you'll be able to sign up, uh, to a an event there, and you'll be able to sort of take part in a in a sealed deck tournament, where you'll be able to play with exclusively uh, exclusively with the new savagery cards. Uh, and not only that, everyone who attends will be getting a, a rainbow foil. First time we've ever done this, a rainbow foil beastly leap card, uh, which is a completely brand new promo card that, that we're doing for the first time. Uh, we're really excited about how uh, how people are going to interact with these these cards. We we are basically throwing everything out of this pre-release, right? So there's not just a select little bit, it's every single part of Savagery we are letting people get their hands on and take home with them. We want to start doing these for all of the events. Yeah, absolutely. Like all yeah. the sets going forward, really yeah. getting, you know, letting people see them early, getting people's, you know, seeing what people like about them. Of course, yeah. So it should be really cool, really excited about it. Yeah, definitely. There you have it. If you want to get involved, just head on over, find your store, grab a coat, put the weekender on pause. We'll be back. Well, we'll still be here when you, you get <laughs> yeah. back and go, go have a game. Okay, so before I let you both go, I have to ask, what does the future hold for champions? Now we're on Gur, where could we be he heading moving forward? 
Oh, you're going to get some trouble against well, workshop well, if you. Me. Uh, <laughs> goodness me. We're um, so within the within the actual card game itself. Obviously, we're now going to be. Uh, over the next few months, all of our storylines, our digital events, our physical yeah. events, all our organised play, will all be building on our storyline mm-hmm. and all of these characters and the Loonstone and the Bad Moon. Um, after that, we can't really say what's going to happen. Or I can, well, I can say that we, we, we have plans. We already know what is happening. Oh, yeah. But we, we, it's all very tied into things that are coming up within the Age of Sigma physical game. Yeah. So if we say too much, Games Workshop will tell me off. <laughs> um, in the digital, we some exciting stuff coming out. Yeah, we do. Uh, especially next month is a big, big time for the for the, uh, for the digital game. As we mentioned before, we've got the Nintendo Switch version coming in the middle of April. Uh, but we've also got some new modes coming with that, which we haven't talked about yet. So we can sort of reveal here that we will be bringing a brand new single player adventure mode into the game. Uh, which we are calling Realm Trials. Yeah, uh, we will talk a lot more about this over the coming weeks. But it's, it's a pretty robust it's, new it's, game it's, mode, isn't it? It's big. Uh, it is. There is a lot to this. Hundreds of different campaigns in there. Hundreds of different ways to play this. Uh, we're really excited for what this is going to bring to the game, uh, and we will be bringing that out pretty soon. So uh, I look forward to some more information about that. On the physical side of things, we will also have a pretty massive announcement uh, coming over the next day or two as to what we will be doing for our competitive scene. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, we, will re- we won't be able to talk about that just yet. There was a lot of exciting chat about it in the oh office my earlier on. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Uh, there's a lot of exciting. This is going to be quite a big announcement, uh, and we are really looking forward to sharing some, some big stuff with you guys soon. Excellent. I can't wait to hear more about that. Okay, guys, thank you very much for letting us know about Savagery. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some of those cards for ourselves and get some games on soon. Send you some over. Yeah, we'll why definitely not? send you some over. We'll have to Wait, try. Guys. We'll have to sort you out some out for a competition as well. Oh, that would be some to the, uh, yeah. the viewers. That would be fantastic. Yes, <laughs> thank yeah. you. If we, if we say it now, then we'll have to do it. Then we're locked in. Exactly. Okay. We'll sort you out some giveaways. There you go. You heard it there, guys. Okay. If you want to find out more <laughs> about uh, Age of Sigmar Champions. Be sure to check out some of our previous Let's Plays here on Tabletop.com and let us know in the comments below your thoughts about Savagery. In the meantime, thanks very much, Alan and Rob. Cheers. Yep. We'll carry on here and we'll see you in the next one.